I'm Daphne Simone from DaphneSimoneCoutureBranding.com and I teach free thinking entrepreneurs how to strategically create head turning money making brands from the inside out. I want to share a practice with you that I like to do on Mondays because Mondays are usually energetically days that I have a little harder time focusing. I'm usually pretty tired after a long active weekend with my family and my babies. Mondays have always been hard for me to get back into my flow and back into the groove of my business. So I wanted to share with you a couple of techniques that I use to refocus myself and to get right back on track. So um, right after a long nice weekend on Mondays, the first thing I'll do is I will do this psychic detox. So oftentimes throughout the whole day Monday, all those kind of negative downer like yuck muck thoughts start to come up and it's just an energetic thing for me it's always been that way but i'm aware of it and becoming aware of these patterns is one of the greatest tools that you can have as an entrepreneur so i know that about myself usually when i wake up i'm like a little moody and i will um give myself a little time sit down and start doing my psychic detox so i start focusing on the present moment and I'll notice what thoughts start coming in and oftentimes they are thoughts that really bring me down and are very um, based and rooted in fear, rooted in insecurity, doubts, kind of like all this gunk just starts coming up. As I'm noticing those thoughts coming in, I don't tense up, I don't really react to them, I just observe them as they are and I sort of step outside of it and I see how they really are just negative thoughts. They're like those little malware on the computer and all I have to do at that point is acknowledge them and you know process it but recognize that the root of it is just fear and there's no real substantial um, truth to that thought. So I do that in the morning and I just like release, I actively release them and I oftentimes will try to flip them and turn them into a positive thought and an affirmation. Um, then throughout the day, if they still keep prop cropping up, so if I'm thinking just in the back of my mind for whatever reason, these little thoughts keep coming up like, oh, you know, nobody liked that post yesterday or oh, you know that email didn't do as well as i had hoped little things and then um you know bigger thoughts that creep up on you like well maybe you're not so good at this or maybe you should be doing something else or maybe they were right and you shouldn't have gotten into all this you know what thoughts i'm talking about so if they are recurring and the same thing happens i recognize that i have to actually deal with that and i have to work through it a little bit more and i need to you know trace it down to its energetic source and really be honest with myself about what is happening there so if there's a theme coming up for example feeling like i'm not good enough at something i'll really face it and look it right in the eye and i'll be like well you know why why am i feeling that way and um, is there a kernel of truth to it? You know, is something out of alignment? Am I trying to do something that I'm not really ready to do? Or am I a little insecure about something here that needs to just be fixed? Oftentimes I can fix things just by doing a little research, um, sitting with myself a little bit, um, asking a friend for some feedback, or even just walking away for something for a little while. I always do that Mondays and if I need to during the week too I will but usually if I do it very intentionally on Monday my whole week flows very very powerfully and easily. Another thing that I do on Mondays in order to get myself back on track is I get right into my asana and I look over everything and I make sure that I know exactly what my goals are for the week. I'm very into strategy, I love teaching it and talking about it and helping women and men to strategize their business so that they are spending their time and energy wisely and getting the highest possible ROI. This is very empowering for me and it's something that helps me a lot to regroup after the weekend and you know, pick up right where I left off. Friday and I love working with asana um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right in yoga it's asana but for some reason I always say as asana for the the um, 
program. But anyway, however you say it, um, you know, I, I love going into there and just like prepping myself. I'll even sometimes do this Sunday night if if it allows, you know, we do a lot of stuff Sundays. You know, first thing in the morning after I do my psychic detox is I go in there and I just read through and I just literally, you know, remind myself and um, focus myself on, okay, well, here's my goals for this week. I use my spreadsheets that um, I had created specifically for, um, for my business and I share that with my clients so that they can literally map out their whole year week by week and know exactly what you are focusing on every week based on what projects you're working on and launching throughout your year. So that is so vital. And just having that there helps me tremendously. If I didn't have that, Mondays would probably be the death of my business. No joke. Um, so you have to safeguard yourself and your business from the energy kind of drains that just naturally happen. We all have them. But the trick is to really become aware of yours. It might not be Mondays, it could be a certain hour of every day. You have to become aware of when those types of limiting thoughts really start popping up, getting really strategic and being ready for them before. So the last tip that I want to share for how I um, get really focused again on Mondays, again that for me is is the toughest day of the week. I do a lot of inspirational type of education stuff Mondays. So Mondays are the days where I'm walking around with my headphones on. I go on lots of walks. I get as much outdoor fresh air as possible. I like to wake up early um, because I really found that waking up early um, is actually a physical way to reboot my energy and it just reminds me that you know i'm in this for the win i am serious about my business and you know i'm even going to wake up early mondays which are the hardest days for me to wake up but it really is a strong sense of accomplishment for me because i am so not a morning person so that's something that you might want to start thinking about you know like where can you find little places to challenge yourself and go out of your comfort zone just to make a statement to yourself about how how committed you are how much you are um showing up and then you can really reward yourself and celebrate when you do that saying you, i like to walk around i like to get moving i'm always listening to you know podcasts people that i love coaches um training stuff like that so it's a little bit more of a passive day for me where i'm receiving mondays are ruled by the moon rather than me being like going out there and doing a lot i'm receiving receiving refilling my business battery um after long weekend getting really focused and it could be any day for you you know monday really is um i think for a lot of people it's it's a tough day energetically whatever your monday is whatever that challenging time where you almost feel like you are going to self-destruct and you know those thoughts keep coming up that that um make you feel like you just can't move forward um so i really hope that these tips will help you to get through that you know do your psychic detox touch base with yourself and with your truth um so thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time bye